So once again, second time around, we're looking at half adders. Um, you've already heard this, and I'm going to really struggle to do this presentation a second time around. Um, a half adder is a specialty circuit that is used in computing a lot. Uh, it is the base of a full adder. Obviously, two half adders make a full adder. That pauses because Casey was making some strange symbols. Now, the way it works is a half adder is two, um, uh, uh, two logic gates. First one, what's this logic gate? The first logic gate here? XOR. XOR, and that's a sum. So exclusive OR. We're looking at A and B, and our output's this, this time, this time. No, it's not a sum, sorry, try that again. That's an, that's an AND gate. And our output here is called a sum and a carry. Now, the reason why they're called sum and carry, when we go looking at full adders, we'll look at the carry in and carry out. And as we string them all together, we'll have lots of them and it'll make, hopefully make more sense. This truth table, sorry, this, this uh, circuit has its own truth table. And we can see uh, the logic of our truth table here by drawing it up. Um, let's think about A's or B. Some uh, A's or B is going to be zero. zero. A's or one, uh, sorry, zeros or one is one. Zeros or one is one. Zeros or uh, ones or ones or one is zero. zero. Right, and again we do an AND statement: A and B, A and B, A and B, zero, 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 one. So if you look at the output of this table, it shows pretty basically addition. One plus one is ten. 1 plus 1 is 10, being the carry as the, uh, as the, the 10 column. So that's a nice, easy way of working it. And that's a half adder. And as I said, half adders are really important for us in computing because they are used, two of them together, is used to create a full adder, which is what a CPU does. So we've always said CPUs are stupid. All they know how to do is add and shift. Well, here's why. They're very clever. So there's your half adder. Let's go and take a look now at a full adder again. Now full adders, you can see here is our half adder, here is our half adder, and you'll see they're also strung together with that bad boy there, which is a, an OR gate. And they also have another bit um, here as well, which is our carry in. So when you string them together, if this is called a carry out, What do you reckon? What do you reckon the uh, next gate below is going to have that that carry out is going to become that carry in, and so therefore you, you can place multiple adders together, and you get well you can have an eight bit adder, a thirty two bit adder, a sixty four bit adder. One sixty four bit adder is the base unit of a CPU. It's relatively relatively painless. Okay. So let's go and look and see how this works. So we have our first half adder, our second half adder, and an OR gate is our carry out. So our output here is once again, change my pen, yeah, that's, a, that's your sum, and there's your carry out. So let's look at the logic of each of these. And again, we have our carry out and our sum. Uh, Nothing in, surprise, surprise, nothing out. Now carry in one, we'll still give us give a sum of one but no carry. And again, look at what's going on here. If you took look at the carry in plus A plus B. It's addition. It's simple binary addition. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 11. 1 plus 1 is 10, as simple binary addition goes. And now let's just prove what, I, what we said here. I'll change my pen to red. And uh, give me a value for carry in, 0 or 1. Seven. You're a doofus, Francisco. And if you didn't hear that, he said 7. I like a binary number of seven that can be displayed, displayed in a single value. Let's have one there, and A and B value, zero or one? Uh, go, zero, zero. Uh, go for a pair of zeros. Good idea, okay. So therefore, theoretically, what we should have as an output is a sum of one. 
and no carry. Let's just see how we go though. So let's punch through the, the first Zor gate, that one there. Zero, Zor, zero is? Zero, zero okay. Uh, zero and zero, so that's a pair of zeros there. Zero and zero is zero, so we've got a zero input there so far. We've got one or zero. Oh, hang on. Beg your pardon. Sorry, that's an AND gate. Thank you. And one's or z one exclusive or zero? One. What do we say? One sum, zero carry. So that makes perfect sense with our truth table that we've uh, developed here. Okay? Now, once again, put all these together, put lots of these together, and what you get is a CPU. So this is a, ha this is a full adder that becomes the base unit of our CPU. The carry out that we see here becomes a carry in for the next, for the next uh, part of the circuit. So what I could do is string eight of these together and have an adder that will count up to 255 for me. Um, truth tables tend to get quite large, obviously, quite large. And they, but they can be drawn. I'm not, you're not going to be expected to draw one. Oftentimes what you'll see in a, um, in a uh, exam, if you have to deal with multiple adders, is that they'll be drawn like this. So maybe we'll call that A1, A2, A3. Have your inputs. So you see you sum out and you carry in. Sorry, you carry out and you carry in. And this is a way of simplifying that to that. And that's supposed to say A. So add a one, add a two, and that's your, that's your carry out, which becomes your carry in. In such a way as what you're doing there is stringing those all together. It's a pretty cool bit of kit. Okay, once again, gonna stop there.